in this credit we're going to be using a lot of new vocabulary uh, just want to run over the definitions of these different words so you know what I'm talking about okay the word outlier just means uh, it's a number that doesn't fit the data um, can think about this as you know uh, we looked at our linear functions before if you had a bunch of dots that are points that were seeming to fit along this line and then you had another point that was out here we call that an outlier or you know on this other side if if there's points that don't really fit this the, the main trend then we call that an outlier um, so if you had a list of numbers like uh, five five four uh, 5, 6, and 57, you would call call 57 an outlier in that list. Okay, um, histogram. Histogram is just a way to demonstrate the data, and what you do is uh, you say, if we had this list right here, we see 5 happens 3 times, so you would show it like this you say this is five and it's shown three times six is shown one time four is shown one time and then 57 is shown one time so this would be an example of a histogram of that list so it's just kind of a way to tally up uh, the frequency that we see of uh, certain numbers okay range is just just like we used in functions it, it gives you the high and the low so in this list we would say the range goes from 4 to 57 or you could say it has a range of uh, 53 you know there's a, a, a range of 53 different uh, numbers from the high to low a frequency table just lists the numbers in in their frequency so you would say uh, the frequency and the number that shows up so you say four oops backwards uh, you see the number four once you see five three times you see six once and you see 57 once so this is just a frequency table to show you how many times do you see uh, different numbers in the list okay a box and whisk whisker plot this um, we'll get into more detail a little bit later but you have a box and there are five main points. This shows you the bottom of the range. This shows you the top of the range. And it would be listed like, uh, I don't know, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if you had some list, um, you can make a graph out of this. This would be the low. This would be the high. And then this would be the median value. And then this tells you um, the third quartile and the, the end of the first quartile. So a quarter of the numbers will fall uh, in here, a quarter of the numbers will fall in here, a quarter in here, and a quarter in here. So it's a way to split up the data and kind of show you what how the range is broken up. And you know some box and whisker plots look something like this too, where there's a very narrow range on you know maybe one quarter of the data and then there's a big wide range for one quarter of the data so it kind of tells you something about uh, how the points are spread out uh, but we'll get into more detail later um, next is mean mean uh, we talked about was just the uh, sum of the numbers divided by the number of numbers so in this case we have six numbers so and then we add them all up so uh, 15 plus 10, 25 plus 57 will be what 75 plus 7, so that's 82 was the sum of the numbers divided by the number of numbers, which is 6. So the mean here 82 divided by 6 is 13.7, roughly 13.7 or 13.66. So this is called the mean. You add up the numbers and you divide by the number of numbers. The median is you order the list and find the middle number. So I would rearrange this and put uh, four first, then there's three fives, 
and then there's a 6 and a 57. So the middle number would be, since there's an even number, I take the two middle numbers and take halfway in between them. But since it's the same number, it would just be 5. So the median here would be 5. Um, you can see how the mean gets uh, gets adjusted by a, a lot by outliers. If there's an outlier, it will mess up the mean quite a bit. And yeah, you kind of see that this this list isn't really close. The only number that's there's no number that's actually close to the mean is there, but um, the median tells you a better a better picture of what what's going on there. Okay, so that's the basic vocabulary for this section, and we'll get into more detail on each one of them as we go along.